July 13th, I'm at Graham's to check the brakes. And I went to check the brakes and there is plenty of pad on the uh, on the front, see, on both sides. But this bolt, there's two bolts, one in here, one in here, which holds the caliper in. And the upper one wasn't there. It's not that it broke off, it just wasn't there. So one bolt missing, and I've not had the calipers off on this. So go figure. That bolt goes through, through here, through this, like so. That holds the caliper in, the bolt goes in there, and it wasn't there. There's only two bolts that hold the caliper in, then the caliper comes off like that. So, go figure. Okay, this bolt here and this bolt here is what hold, yes, holds the caliper in. And so we replace this with a cap screw same thread but it's longer so you put a nut under here to not in a washer, not in a washer to shim it because it's uh, a longer quarter screw. inch longer but this is the mounting in the bottom so as you see the caliper travels now and before this <coughs> here was flopping out right <coughs> because the bolt was not in here holding it into the into this travel here this piston effect here so the p caliper was as you see the grind mark here yep. hit yeah. on the wheel and was rubbing on the wheel and that's probably what that tick tick that that sound was that kind of grinding sound hmm. wasn't the brakes because you can see there's a there's an eighth of an inch pads on both sides and I knew it was coming from the right side so this is holding the caliper to the piston in line and that's probably what is going to fix this. So when you put the brake on it'll pull the uh, it'll take up the piston. Sl it'll pull a pist piston it'll take up the slack and it won't go like yeah. this is like this because the piston is loose because yeah. we pushed it back manually. Yeah. 